Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're doing a theme deck review of the brand new Galarian Surfetched theme deck from Darkness Ablaze. This is the theme deck. It is a reprint version of the Galarian Surfetched from Rebel Clash. It does 180 damage for 3 energy. It's got 100 HP, it's a stage 1, and there is no twin energy in this deck, so it's all fighting, which is pretty interesting. So we're going to look at the deck here, kind of break down what's in it. Your main attacker, of course, can be Sir Fetch. 180 for 3 is not bad at all. And then, of course, we got Passimian here. Uh, get two basics if you can build it up. You got a Stun Druner. Uh, it does need a lot of energy to be powered up, though, but if you do get there, it just can hit hard, I guess. You can do 180 damage with 5 energy. Um, I don't think there's an energy acceleration system, though. We do have a Duck Trio, which... Uh, very reminiscent of the old Rapidash from Relentless Flame. Flip a coin of heads. During your opponent's next turn, it prevents all damage done to Duck Trio. And two for 70 is actually not bad either. Uh, we got a Soda Widow for some draw support. Got a hit Powered on. Uh, I mean, it looks like it's a fairly average Pokemon lineup. Nothing special. One of the nice cards in this deck, though, is Turbo Patch. You flip a coin of heads and you attach a basic energy from your Discapel to one of your basic Pokemon. That's not a GX. So straight up. Two of these, and if you're looking for Turbo Patch, it is a very good card in our standard format. A lot of decks like Zacian, Boltund, uh, Vikavolt, V, they're all going to be playing Turbo Patch to help them power itself up. So if you want to get a couple of these for your standard deck, it's in this theme deck. And it can also be used to power up a basic like Farfetch, Passimian, or Stan Druner. It does on a coin flip though, and it's only two of. I wish this maybe had four in this deck, but it does only have two, but it's fine. Pretty cool stuff. And then we got Great Balls Catchers. Pretty simple stuff. It does come with two Bird Keeper, uh, which switches your active and draws three cards. This is a very good card with Surfetched because it allows you to reset Meteor Assault. And also, it draws you three cards. Bird Keeper is also a pretty decent card in our standard format. We got two Research. Pretty decent card. Four Hop. Not that great, but it is a Theme Deck standard. But anyways, let's go show off the deck in the Theme Deck format. Get a couple games and see how this works. All right, guys, getting into a match with our Sir Fetch deck here. I think I'm, since it's a theme deck, I'm not going to cherry pick the game. I'm just going to play it how it is. Um, just going to play the deck because I feel like it's how you should play a theme deck. Because theme decks, they're, they're pre-made decks, right? It's not like, it's not random. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to find the match and see how the Sir Fetch deck will play. We are up against Can't Smash It here. He's playing at the Zero deck, which is unfortunate for him. That's a Lightning deck. We're a Fighting deck. Uh, hmm, what's the better starter here? Kind of wish we had a Diglett start. I think we do want to start with, uh, f yeah, we're definitely going to start with Farfetch, for sure. Ben's Hippopotas. If we had more energy for B, that would be nice. We have that Turbo Patch, but no way to discard it, which is not good. Does get a Duo Duo, which actually was just a fighting, bro. That's not good. Passimian, I will bench that. Could try to build it up because this can actually attack the Doduo and go through resistance. Hmm. I kind of feel like we should just build this up. We'll just play the research. We are going to lose a turbo patch. Not ideal, but you can do about that. There's a Diglett. Great ball. We'll take... I mean, we should take the Sir Fetched. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just pass. We didn't really get much. Uh, we did get a couple of energy. We have a Bird Keeper. So yeah, we actually we can Bird Keeper into the Passimian next turn, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to do it just yet, because Passimian's not doing any damage. So I think we want to wait to do it, for sure. We'll see if they get a Dodrio here. Nope. No, they do get double head. For 40, bro, I didn't even... Mm. Alright, we're just going to have to let the boy get knocked out then, I guess. We can get that Dodrio in play. We might just win here. If they don't get a basic, Rock Curls is going to knock out the Doduo. Unless they have something in trail. Well, they could have all been a Dodrio. They're drawing three more cards. We're from the bottom of their deck this time, not their top. Okay, they did get a couple basics. But they're all weak to fighting. Oh, and they also... Oh, they found the Dodrio. No! Does 90 damage. That can't one-shot. Okay, that's fine. Try attack. Wait, what? Flip three coins? Oh, they did try attack. Hmm... That could knock out my Passimian. That could be a problem. They actually could have knocked out a Passimian here. Nah, we'll see. We'll go Rock Curl. I just gotta hope they don't kill my Passimian. If they knock out Passimian, I don't know what to do. We might have to just go with a... Yeah, we might have to just dig into a Mud Bomb. No, but then they knock out the... Okay, we'll have to sacrifice Diglett. If they knock me out, I think I'm gonna sacrifice Diglett. I'm gonna promote the Duck Trio, Bird Keeper, draw up cards, and then go into Diglett. I think we have to do that. Eradicate the 70 damage. Your point time is an evolution. 
Then it switches. Okay, then. Alright, yep. They're not gonna knock me out. Alright, perfect. That's a great, great news. We got a Sonya. We'll play that. We'll take Farfetch'd and probably Soda Widow. I guess we should have. Oh, we should have attached to the surf, the far fetched first. Whatever, that's fine. The trio's still a good attacker. Just two for seventy, which is still really good. Plus, we have our first attack if we want to troll. Oh, we got a hop. All right, we're chilling. We're chilling. Um, Pasimian's got thirty. So yeah, we're gonna buy Ram. Um, Magnazone has one hundred and fifty HP, if I'm correct. So the trio cannot one shot it. So that's interesting. This is a pretty good matchup for the Steam Deck. First game, too. And it's not a Relentless Flame Theme Deck. That's pretty funny. Okay, I apologize if you can hear a noise. I'm trying to open my G Fuel bottle, but it's like making a squeaky noise. Fisherman. They have a Magnezone here. That's going to be a little scary. But I think... Okay, they don't have it right now. So we get to knock it on the Magneton. Take out their Energy Acceleration. The only issue I really have with this deck is it's only Fighting types. So if you run into a deck that can resist fighting, it doesn't really seem very good. I think that's like my only issue with this theme deck. It's just fighting types. Now, I guess it's okay against this deck. It's countering them pretty well. Okay, chill out their leg. Another energy. We can build up the far fetched. The sir fetched. Yeah, we're just gonna we're build the fur fetched. I think we've got this game wrapped up. I don't think they can deal with the duck trio. What does this do? But yeah, I, I think we're chilling. I don't think they can deal with the duck trio in time. I think the Duck Trio might just sweep their team. By the time they knock it out, we'll have a Surfetch ready to attack anyway, so... Yeah, it looks like it's just pretty much GG's at this point. Oh, we could have digged them, actually. That was a misplay. I should have went dig. Whatever, it is what it is. I don't think it's a big deal. It was a catcher. I think next time we're going to try to catch her. Possibly try to bring in the Raticate. Yeah, we're going to try to bring in the Raticate. Oh, they can see. All right, well, there you go. We got a dub with the deck. Not bad. That deck played better than I thought it would, which is kind of cool. So, do this again. Find another match. I'm not going to cherry pick. It's going to straight up find games, I think. See how this goes. Looks like not many people are in the theme deck uh, format. Because, of course, the um, everyone's hyped for the new set. No one really wants to play theme deck formats today. Ooh, we are up against the other theme deck in Rebel Clash. Well, it looks like we're going to show off the other theme deck while we show off this theme deck. That's kind of hilarious. They're a water deck, I'm thinking. And we're not much as weak to water. We have a lot of grass weak Pokemon. Uh, Do I want to build? Yeah, I think we'll build this up. We're pretty bulky. We'll build up the old thing. I'm going to Sonya. I'm going to get Diglett and Farfetch'd, I think. Weak to grass. Yeah, I think everything's just weak to grass. So next turn, we'll probably do Sonya for Farfetch'd and Diglett. Oh, and Kangaskhan's weak to fighting. So do we have the counter deck to their deck? I guess. Well, Riley back can do 120. Hmm. They could knock out Stonjourner in a couple attacks. I think we, yeah, we want to just go Diglett then. Or maybe we hop first. Is it making Sonya for Doug Trio? Maybe that's better? I don't know. That might actually have to be the play. It's a good thing we're going first, though. The extra energy attachment is seeming to be pretty relevant here. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna do hop first. We have a lot of time to okay, we didn't get the uh we didn't get the thing. Didn't get the diglet, that's fine. We're building up the Stone Junior. Next turn we can attack. We can't knock out the Wingle. It's got 30 resistance to fighting. Well then. We have to build up a Simeon again. Do they have Pelipper? I don't even know what it does. Doesn't do like 50 damage and heal. Ooh, that heal actually could be bad. Maybe we have to build up a Simeon. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Pelipper might actually be the problem here, to be honest. This guy resists the fighting. I think it heals too. I'm pretty sure it has an attack that heals it. That might be pretty bad. Yeah, this might actually be more of a problem than I thought it would. Yeah, and they have the Pelipper. Bro, chill. Okay, it doesn't heal. Alright, never mind. Oh, they knock me out next turn. That's not good. Alright, we're just gonna get the Sonya. I think I'm just gonna take Sita Widow and Diglett. Yeah, that Pelipper's pretty quick. I don't know what to do. We can't. We can attack it. We're doing 60 damage to it. It'll, it'll have 60 HP left.
Hmm. You kind of have to, because even... Simming gets one shot by Pelipper too. Oh, we we're only doing 50. I forgot. Minus 30. Hmm. Yeah, this Pelipper might honestly sweep us. I don't... Ugh. We're doing like no damage to it. Duck Trio can't damage it until we get two energy on it. Diggy doesn't do anything. This Pelipper... If they have two Pelippers, bro, I don't know if we can win. That's too many to deal with. We might just completely get swept by a Pelipper. Yeah, this is bad. Pelipper is going to body us. I'm not liking this. I don't think Pelipper is great, but against our theme deck, it seems to be overpowered. Best we can do is build Pissimian, but then we get knocked out by this. So then we have to maybe try to get Duck Trio. We did get it. Alright, nice. We also got Farfetch'd. Okay, that's fine. I guess Surfetch can watch out the Pelipper too. Maybe we should have just got a Farfetch'd just sort of widow. Yeah, that was a misplay then. Not the end of the world, but I think we still want to attack with Pissimian. We have access to Turbo Patch, so that could be good. We're gonna have to promote the Duck Trio, and then we're gonna go Bird Keeper. Oh, but they have they have Catcher though. We have Catcher. They might have Catcher too. I haven't looked at this deck yet. They might have Catcher. If they have Catcher. They can just gust up this or this. Hmm. Darmanitan is kind of scary too. It's, it doesn't have a resistance to metal, but it does a lot of damage probably. Ah, this ain't good, folks. I'll right, we'll see. We draw. Okay. Well. Put the far fetched. Pass. I know I was gonna do Bird Keeper. I forgot. It's fine though. Oh, well, they could retreat the Pelipper too. I don't know, man. This is gonna be a hard game to win. This Pelipper is a huge issue. If we deal with the Pelipper though, maybe we can try to make a comeback. That Kangaskhan is pretty bad too. Okay. Our game plan is gonna have to be. We're gonna have to just go Doug Trio next turn. We'll see how effective Doug Trio is here. So we'll bring in the Farfetch. We'll Bird Keeper draw three cards. It's like a knockout with the Passimian. Okay. So that kind of worked out for us. A lot of energy had to be built up though. We had to fall by and we're gonna have to fall back quite a few prizes here unless they somehow don't have an energy in their hand. This deck's got three Farfetched. Dang. So we're going to go to Trio, hit for 60, and hopefully get heads. And if not, we're going to get knocked out by Hammer in. And then I guess we can go Surfetched and finish them off. No, but that's 80. Oh, this thing's so bulky. 130 HP is bad because... Oh, they got Turbo Patch heads. Yo, that's nuts. Yeah, Bear Tick. 150. It does damage to itself, though. Oh, they had a research? Yeah. I don't know if we're winning this, guys. We're going to be behind in prizes by quite a bit. And if we get Tails on Duck Trio, I think any chance we have of winning is thrown out the window. Because then they, then they knock me out with Hammer in. Yeah, it looks like this Galarian Darmanitan deck might be the, might be the only way this deck loses. I really wish we could find our own Turbo Patch right now. That'd be very nice. Not much we can do. We gotta hope to really... We need to get heads here to uh, survive. We don't even get heads. Yeah, I mean, bro. We can't even one-shot with Farfetch. We're only doing 40 damage. I guess we just hope they don't have an energy, but that is very unlikely. So, I think we've just... We've lost, right? We've lost. We need a Duck Trio to get heads, I think, to win this game. Let's see, though, what happens. Bead? Well, they had an energy in their hand. They could also just knock him out with Bear Tick. Yeah, we've lost. I'm just gonna concede. It's we're too far behind. They have like three big attackers built up. Not good. All right, let's move on with another match then. So we lost to the Galarian deck. So apparently the Galarian Galarian and Darmanitan deck is better than Surfetched. Good to know. We get some Master Blaster. He's got the Dragonite deck. Uh, Dragonite. This has some birds in it, which is really bad. This deck has some birds, which are resistant to fighting. Not 30 resistant, though, which is good. Lost a coin flip, bruh. Big brew moment. Okay. We're gonna start with Diglett, because I feel like the trio is a good starter. One energy does its thing. A lot of his stuff is resistant to fighting, though. This is, yeah, that's my main issue with this deck. Everything is fighting. The Darmanitan deck had this... Had 
the uh, Kangaskhan. Yep, see, bird. Oh, we do the Dark Trio, though. Not bad. All right. Farfetched. Hey, let's go. All right. Not bad. They have no way to shove my hand. No Marnies, right? Yeah. This, this is... Cosmic Clips. Or Unify Minds. Man. I think this deck, I feel like, is definitely worse than the Dermantan. I haven't even played the Dermantan deck, but yeah, and I already know. Yeah, see, this thing's resistant to fighting, too. Bro. Yeah, I don't know about this theme deck, guys. I don't know, to be honest. This theme, yeah, I knew it. It's too many Pokemon resistant to fighting. Retreating. Interesting. Oh, he wants to... Oh, but let's use Pidgeotto. Yeah. This is going to be a tough one to win. That resistance is going to be huge. The only, like, thing we really have is we have access to Turbo Patch, but I don't know. Yeah, he's going to go straight for the Pidgeotto for next turn. This Dragonite theme deck is also really good. This is another top theme deck. Okay, we drew the energy. At least we're doing 10 damage. It's not a 0 damage. Could have been a lot worse. Okay. I was hoping for more energy there. Because I can't play the Bird Keeper. We could catch her this. That can make him not attack us. Sure, we'll try it and we get heads. Okay, cool. Dig for 10 damage. We did get heads. Alright, that's fine. This kind of works out then because he can't attack me unless he has a U-turn board, which I feel like the Steam Deck does play one U-turn board. And the Necrozma deck plays U-turn board. I'm pretty sure this one does. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling the Steam Deck, guys. I'm not feeling it. It's fighting, bro. The only like, the best card in the deck, honestly, might be Doug Trio. Because Dig. We know Rapidash is really good. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Retreats. Okay. He evolves. Yeah. He can't attack me. So, no matter... Yeah. This is good. We could just go Mud Bomb. Yeah, I think we just go Mud Bomb. At least Darkest Tornado... Thunders can't knock us out in one hit. It only has 80 damage. We have 90. Okay. So, I think we're just going to start Mud Bombing him next turn. Seems good. We're gonna go Mud God, and then we just gotta build up. Maybe we build up the Farfetch. Maybe we have a change. I mean, Farfetch does one shot mostly anything in the theme deck format I can think of, anyway. So we do have that. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. We have a chance of winning. Thunderous is weak to fighting. Muck is weak to fighting too. If we see Muck discard Turbo Patch, that's gonna sting quite a bit. Yeah, it's weak to fighting. Both are weak to fighting. So it's like. Two things are weak. Half the deck's weak to fight and half the deck isn't. We really need energy right now because we can't play Bird Keeper just yet. But we can start attacking this and getting some tip pressure on. He has a four card hand. You can see a few cards. We'll see if he's able to attack my Duck Trio here. By the time he does, we can knock it out. And then hopefully by then we have a Surfetch ready to start sweeping. We'll see. Yeah, Chin Chow weak to fighting too. Lots of fighting weak stuff, but half the stuff also is not weak to fighting. It's like 50 50 split. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see. What's he got? Does he have an energy? If, if he doesn't have energy, this is perfect. We don't have energy either, so we're in top deck mode ourselves. He does, but he's going to build a Thunderous, which can one-shot me. So yeah, we really need to build this up then. Oh, Mud Bomb again. We'll see. If he doesn't attach an energy, I'm not going to attack him. Or I'll do Dig. We'll Dig him. We won't knock him out. We can try to Dig twice if this doesn't get energy on. If it does get energy, I'm just going to do Dig and hope for the best. We just need to get energy. But once we get a Surf Fetch going, we should be chilling. We should be. I don't know if he has a Lolan Muck or not. No, a Lolan Muck. Teemo? I can't remember if this plays a Lolan Muck with the discard effect. Yeah, just, all right, we're not gonna attack him. Well, we are will, but we're not gonna knock him out. Okay, there we go. Give us an energy. Let's go. We can bead next turn too. Oh, dick for ten. Ah, uh, but can he attack me this turn? Let's find out. Or can he knock me out? If he knocks me out, we have to go Soda Widow, I think, and then try to build this up. We'll see what happens. Okay, he doesn't knock me out. I think the only way that he could knock me out is through... you. Yeah, he'd have to Dragonite, but he doesn't have a way to Dragonite extra energy in play. This is interesting for sure. We can knock him out Dig. 
We haven't gotten a single heads on dig yet, so now would be a great time to get heads on dig. I am scared of him finding Dratini, because once Dragon I gets in play, we're in trouble. No Electro Power, right? No, okay, I can't knock me out. Why would he promote this? Because then we knock him out. Okay, well, I'm not complaining. This is a free knockout. We knock this out. He'll knock me out with Tornado, then we knock it out with Pierce. I'm not too sure I agree with that play. Okay, Farfetch'd. These are some bad prizes. This deck does not need that many Surfetch'd. We don't need three Surfetch'd. No, 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 no. We don't need three Surfetch'd. Surfetch'd is not bad. I mean, one of the nice things about buying this team deck is because how popular Eternus is. I mean, Surfetch'd one-shots Eternatus. You do need Fighting and Twin Energy to do so, but it does one-shot Eternatus, so... If you want to buy this deck, it's not a terrible counter to Eternus, but there are better counters like Phalanx and Colossal. I think the best things you get, Bird Keeper and Turbo Patch, are pretty good. Does he have a knockout? He attached to his Chin Chow, though. Wait, no, he didn't. No, yeah, he did. Okay, we just dig knock him out. What's he doing? I don't know if I agree with how this guy's been playing. Alright, there's that Dratini. Yikes. Once he gets Dragonite play, it's a little scary. We have Sir Fetch, which can one-shot Dragonite. I'm hoping we can draw an energy here. We'll see. The reason I haven't evolved this, by the way, is so we have Turbo Patch. We may want to use Turbo Patch with Stonjourner or Pissimian, though. We'll see what happens. We are going to get a knockout here, because I don't think he has a way to heal. He concedes. Alright, I think I'm going to wrap up the video on the Steam Deck. Three games there, guys, for you. Looks like a trade went through. Um, honestly, the Steam Deck is okay. That's my best best way to describe it. It's okay. It's. I'll give it out of 10 stars. I'll probably give it like a 5 out of 10. I think it's like just average... I don't like how it's all fighting. I wish there was more types in this deck. Overall, though, I guess it's not terrible. Um, I don't know. Like, Surfetched is an okay card. Again, it, if you build this in standard, you use it with Twin Energy and Karate Bow, you have a way to one-shot Eternatus in one hit, which is pretty cool. Um, it's not a terrible theme deck by any means. It's okay. I wish there was more than just fighting, because as you saw, two games in a row, we ran into two different decks that had Pokemon that resisted fighting, so our damage wasn't as good. But, yeah, overall... 5 out of 10, not bad. Um, the real reason to pick this up would be you get a decent counter to Eternus and you get Turbo Patch, which again is a great card. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you are new to the channel, help me on the road to reaching 10,000 subscribers. We're getting very close. And also, guys, check out the sponsor, Car Carbon. If you guys are looking for any codes, get them over there at the cheapest price at Car Carbon and use code LDF if you pick up any codes. Check out my Patreon down below, too. Plus $2 a month, you get access to exclusive PDCGO content. Thanks for watching, guys, on the Steam Deck. The next Steam Deck review, of course, will be on the uh, Darmanitan deck. And hopefully, it's a little better. I have a feeling the Darmanitan theme deck is better than the Surface theme deck. So, see you guys later.